YouTube? No, this is not the YouTube. This is uh, Instagram. Man, I'm all over the place today. What's happening, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. The world's greatest living artist. And I'm going to do a painting here for you nice people. Let's see what this looks like. This is going to be an, a 9 by 12 inches. 9 by 12 inches! Alright. Let's do this. Somebody gave me a great uh, idea about soundproofing that room where my son's constantly screaming with on Xbox. I might just take that idea. Okay, so let's... Huh? I just am, huh? It's just some real ish right here. It, it's it's the Rona life, huh, baby? It is the Rona life. He is happy. I'm glad he's happy. I'm just being. I'm just being a parent. You know? Just being a dad. Hello, keep it down! Over there, son! Just being a dad. <laughs> keep it down, son! A little angel. Little angel, see? Little angel. Little wings. Little angel. Little booty. Little angel. Boom, baby. That's how it's done, son. I forgot that I I do keep it real, huh, baby? I keep it real weird here. I can feel it coming in the air. Are you young? El Phil Collins. El papá de la Lily. Is that Lily's daddy? <laughs> Is that Lily's daddy? That? Lily Collins? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can feel it coming. <laughs> But he doesn't like Genesis. Genesis! And let's do a little... A little hairdo. Very, very beautiful. Mucho bonito. This is 
This is pure magic. You're witnessing to heal your magic right here. To heal your magic. With a little angel. Little angel. How's it going, Alicia? Good to see you. Good to see you here. That mucho mucho B E A beautiful. And maybe some uh, maybe some wings. Very, very, very good. Super Francois. Look at this. Very beautiful. I can see it coming. Dude, I don't know that song, but I could just go. You gotta paint, you gotta paint that buttocks. So this is so good. It's sickening how good it is. It's much sickening how good this is. Look at that. It's just some feathers. Some feathers. There it is. Let's put some light and then there was light. Yeah. There she is. Oh, thank you so much, Alicia. There she is. There she is. There she is. Now, we're gonna put some blue, some blue clues. And let's take her to heaven super fast. Boom. Let's take her to El Cielo. Let's take her to heaven super fast.
Nice. Hello, buenas noches. I read that Walmart oil can cause cracking in the long term. Yeah, the long term, that long term might be like 100 years. So I'm going to let them figure it out 100 years from now. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. And, and everything cracks over time. <laughs> everything cracks. We we gotta let we gotta let uh, some stuff. We gotta let the art the art uh, conservators. We gotta give them some work, you know. We gotta let them let them figure it out. Look at that! Boom. Look at that! Boom. This is perfect. This is like mucho bueno. So this little angel is pure magic. This little angel is mucha magia, mucho magico. Let's put a little bit of that blue in that, in those wings, just you know, just to kind of let the little angel. Let those wings breathe a little bit. Boom, look at that. B-E-A, beautiful. I think that was a great job. What do you guys think? Esquisito. Mucho, mucho bueno, mucho esquisito. All right, let's move on to another one because I feel like I'm gonna roll. Let it roll. Bam, 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 bam. All night long. There you go. Now you guys can see what's going on. Uno mas. Uno mas. Okay, let's do a still life with some florecitas, some little flowers. Oh, mucho bueno, look at that. Look at that, pure magic. This is pure magical. Magical, it's magical, pure magical. Man, this is, this is so mucho bueno. Look at this, oh, oh. This is uh, mucho perfecto. Mucho perfecto. Magical. This is super magical. Look at that. Oh la la. Can you believe that? The world's greatest living artist has done it again. I've done it again. Look at that. <whistles> Look at 
Man, I'm barely getting started. I think today I'm gonna, I may end up working till like three in the morning. Who knows? Because uh, I was running around all day. I haven't had any chance to paint. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go deliver some some stuff, buy some art materials. This is super magical, my friends. Look at this. Magical. This is super magical. That's my high pitch voice. And a true master's tradition. True master. And I, I, I gotta take my own horn, guys, because I feel like if I don't do that, ain't nobody else gonna do it for me. Art, music, and philosophy. I love that. It is true. This is a hub for arte, musica, and filosofia. Molti sabiduria. Look at that. Ooh. Dude, that stinking dog keeps squealing all this time. What do you want, Sonic? I think I think Lisette went outside and he's going bananas. What's happening, Rachel? What's the matter? How you doing? How's it going, Katie? What's happening? What's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> so when I was gonna, when I was gonna, when I was gonna come to the U.S. I was a little kid, right? And 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 I was like, but dad, in Spanish, right? It sounded it sounded super cool. I was like, pero papá, but dad, I don't know any English. And he's like, my, my dad's been here since like, I don't know, 60s, early, late 50s, early 60s. And he's like, he's like, dude, don't worry about it. He's like, all you gotta do is when someone's looking at you, you gotta go, hey, What's the matter with you? <laughs> that's, that's the English he taught me. It's when someone's looking at you, all you gotta do is, hey, what's the matter with you? And so I practiced that shit, man. I looked at myself in the mirror, pretend someone was looking at me and, and go, hey, what's the matter with you? That was my, that was my, that was my English, that, that was, uh, that was the English I knew. And then, uh, then my mom, because you know, like, I'm sorry guys, but women are very smart. So like, very, very smart. My mom saw that and that my dad was teaching me his like, his like nonsense English. And my mom was like, no, uh, we got to get you someone to, to teach you English. And so some, some French missionaries 
we're, we're giving uh, English classes in, uh, in the city where I lived in Guadalajara. And so my mom, my mom took me there. <laughs> That's where I started learning my ABCs in English. But uh, it was funny because I was like, in my mind, I was like, you know, all I got to be is like, hey, what's the matter with you? And that's it. That's all the English I ever needed in life. And I got to, I got to write one day tales of a, of a immigrant artist. Like that, uh, like that movie, American Tales, that that cartoon, that the, the, the with the little mice. I swear that was me. And I was like, "There's no cats in America. There's no cats." <laughs> that was totally me. Look at that! Boom. This is so good, it's sickening how good this is. It hurts my tummy how good this is. It's mucho bueno. But I think I took a big chunk of that. It's okay. I'll make some... Uh, I'll repair it. <laughs> I'll do some, some sort of uh, reparazione. Man, these allergies have been killing, killing. I have, I have a I have some messed up, man, allergies. I told my wife, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain anymore, but man, she's not here so I can complain. Um, like the worst headache. Not right now, but last night. Like the allergy migraine, who's, who's ever had one of those? Where you feel like you're gonna pass out? Or like, or like you're gonna throw up or something. Like the pain feels like that. And that's what that's what this bad ombre endured yesterday. One of those uh, first world problems. Oh my god, I couldn't sleep. Wow, what happened? It's, you know, you had some thieves or what happened? No, it's allergies. It was a uh, Seasonal allergies. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that nice or what? This is a it's beautiful man. It's like What's another word for beautiful? Gorgeous! This is so freaking amazing. It's like... How? But how, Jose? How are you so great? I don't know. It just happened. One day I woke up like this. I woke up a badass. And I never looked back anymore. That's what I'm gonna tell my grandchildren. It just happened. Woke up one day. Started doing badass stuff. Look at this.
and this something. This is just good. Let's do uno mas, uno mas. Let's do one more. Let's see what happens. You know, just for kicks. Let's just see what happens. Let me put a little bit of, a little bit of white right here and see what's. A ver, toma. Boom, boom. Uno mas. I'm gonna do a little, a little light over here. Oh, uno mas. And I'm just excited that we can do uno mas whenever we want. Let's do uno muy macho, okay? We're gonna do uno muy macho. All right, let's do this. Kapow, baby! Whoa, 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 what's going on? I'm like tripping all over the place. There you go. I get excited. Okay, let's do uno muy macho. Un macho hombre. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh. Mucho macho. I love doing these smaller pieces because it's it's so much uh, practice. You know, there's a lot of practice in the small pieces. They're not too small where where they're like you're straining to create them. When they're too small, you're straining to create them, and when they're too large, well, they take a long time. But this size. This size is muy macho because uh, you can do whatever you want, you know? It doesn't take forever. This is uno muy macho. Uno mexicano muy macho. This is going to be a... That's what I grew up looking, not looking like, but looking at. So, my dad and all of his uh, brothers look like this. Muy macho. Muy macho. <laughs> they just didn't have. Back in the day, they didn't have this. Uh, they had this thing higher. It's called in Spanish. It's called copa, but I don't know why you call it in English. It's part of the hat. They call this a uh, cup, copa. So people call these bandoliers here in the in the in the U.S. They call uh, this uh, cinch type bullet straps uh, but that's not I, I think that that's just a that's just a, a a word people try to uh, use because of, of the Spanish word for bandolero 
which is a like a bandido, like a gang member, bandolero. Uh, but that's not that's not their name. The, the Spanish name for this is actually cananas. Those things that hold the bullets. They're not they're not bandoliers. Bandolier is the dude that's that's in, in funny business. Back in the I don't know, what, what would it be like the eighteen hundreds early nineteenth century early twentieth century. Macho. Man, I even talk about history here. What the hell, man? All kinds of cool stuff. What I love more about whatever type of work uh, I do, loose loose type of work, is is the freedom in it, it of putting basically whatever colors you want to put and and mixing and matching things, lines, um, thickness of paint, and all kinds of stuff. I think that that you, you can't you can't put a price on that. As an artist, they love that Zapata. Yeah, Zapata was a Zapata was a, a muy macho hombre. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of this. Boom. And let's put a, boom baby. Mucho macho. Back in the day, this guy would have said something like pelao," something like that, something ar around those those words. pelao malaveri, wow. That would have been something like that. That would have been enough to shit my pants. Goutier muy Francois because these dudes back in the day they like that Francois Goutier
But I love it. This is mucho bueno. Put some leather on that. Let's put some leather on this. But I'm loving it, just like McDonald's. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my palette knife to, to do that hat. The tan galan, or ten, what, what do they call it in English? Ten gallon? Tan galan. There we go. So this would be a revolutionary classic revolutionary Mexican back in nineteen ten. Something like that. Yeah, this 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 ombre is Summers made business back in the day. Just for kicks, huh?
There we go. Put a light green back there. Oh, this has to look a pirate hat. <laughs> it's going to be just a little wider. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. Uno mas. Right. I think well, that was that. Yeah, that, 
that I have seen better days. Just put some, uh, just put a light on the nose. On the eyelid. Give a little bit of light, a little bit of highlight to those mustache, to the Francois mustache. A little bit of highlight there. Outline is always muy macho. There we go. <laughs> Pilaos. There it is. All right, my friends. That's that. Just wanted to invite you to uh, a little, uh, a little fun here while I'm painting. I will be doing some uh, more demos later for you guys. Hope you enjoy this. Take care. Peace out. By the way, this painting will be available on my eBay auctions. I'm gonna put it up there. See what's see what's going on. All right. Peace out, amigos.